Hey everybody, this is Kyrix. Um, I'm just here to give you an update on my situation as pertains to the hurricane. <clears throat> it's about 9 o'clock here right now on uh, Saturday the 9th. And we're expecting it conditions, let's call it, to start about this time tomorrow, maybe an hour or two earlier. Um, we're still not expected to get a direct strike. But this is closer than we've had in pff, fucking 20, 30 years, at least. Uh, I'm not, at this moment, too concerned, because this house that we're in is over 100 years old. It was around the last time Florida, this area in particular, took a direct hit. So I'm reasonably certain we can, pun intended, weather the storm. I uh, got supplies, such as they were earlier today. It's just a matter of waiting this out. At this point, there's still a chance it could swing in any direction. If it goes further east, we're in the clear. If it goes further west, much further west, we're in the clear. If it misses our little peninsula. Um, I don't know what's going on, honestly. We could potentially lose power for up to a week, really. We could... Well, I don't know. I don't know what we could do. But I might not be online for as long as a week or more. I could be back on Monday morning saying, hey, we're good. You know, storms pass, weather's calm, power's on. Uh, stay tuned, please. I'll make uh, updates if and when I can. The uh, laptops and external hard drive and a couple other... Uh, sensitive electronics will be coming into the bathroom with me and the pets to ride this out. So if I survive, they'll survive. You know? So it's just a matter of getting access to the internet at that point. Um, we've got water. Water's good. We've got supplies such as it is. I went out and bought like eight cans of mini ravioli and eight cans of beans and a packet of hot dogs. Some pretzels. Pringles, the Pringles are for now, some soda, which is partially for now, and I've got to finish my gallon of milk so I can clean out the bottle and fill that up. I'm working with about four gallons of water and an empty two-liter bottle of water with a full two-liter soda and a two-liter that will not survive the night. So I'll have two two-liter bottles. Not ideal. Ideally, I should have about seven gallons of water. Plus some for the pets, although the pets actually got watered today, and their bottle holds like three or four liters. So they're they're good. Don't necessarily have to worry about them. Um, so the thing that's fucking with me is the waiting. Just waiting to know what's going to happen, what kind of winds we're getting. I've been looking on the local weather map to check out, like, oh, what kind of winds can we expect? And the problem is, it cycles through the colors twice. Like, purple is on there for, like, oh, these are 60-mile-an-hour winds. It's on the, also on there for, oh, these are 135-mile-an-hour winds. And there's kind of a discrepancy there. I think it's more in the 60 to 90 region, simply because of how it escalates. Because there's, there's only the light blue on the map once, which is in the... I think like 40 to 50 range. And it goes there and then jumps to purple and then to orange and shit. So unless it spikes up double force instantly and then tapers back down, I don't think we're going to get the big shit. Uh, the current projections have it between a category 4 and 3 when it's in our area. Like I said, we're not taking a direct hit. The question is which one of those we're going to get. My roommate's pretty sure it's a three, because it starts at the bottom of the state as a four on the map. Then it gets a little north of us, and it's down to a three. And at any point during there, probably at least the halfway point, it's going to make the swap, if not sooner. So we're likely dealing with the backwash of a Category 3 hurricane, which for Floridians is not as bad as it sounds. Uh, we're going to get... Guaranteed at least tropical weather, tropical storm level weather, which we, we honestly, and I'm not even bragging or exaggerating this, Floridians don't know 
if you don't turn the weather on, we don't know when there's a tropical storm hitting us directly. I have been fucking in the eye of a tropical storm, so to speak. I've, I've hit that weather. We don't notice because it doesn't look that much different from a severe thunderstorm that we get because that's just how our weather is. If all we get is tropical storms, I'll fucking see you guys Sunday night, Monday morning, you know? Uh, we potentially, and when I say potentially, I'm talking like to the uh, 60-70% chance I'm going to give it. I don't want to give it 100 because, you know, shit could change. But let's say better than 50-50 shot that we'll get hurricane-level winds. And I'm talking like Category 1, which is not great. But again, Florida's built for this shit. This house is 100 years old. It it made it through one hurricane. Maybe it's still got some fight in it. Let's see. Pretty sure we're going to lose the kitchen roof, though. It's It's kind of shoddy as it is i've been me and uh the roommate's uh girlfriend back when she was here were constantly on him to get on the landlord about fixing the damn roof worst case well best case scenario our kitchen's gonna be flooded because the roof leaks um it's entirely possible kitchen roof could be you know i don't know but again it, there's also every possibility that it'll swing just enough that the worst we'll get is tropical storms. It's entirely possible that that thing could meander back and forth across the state and wear itself down as low as a Category 2. It's possible the storm itself could shrink to the point where it hits the state, but not necessarily us. Even 24 hours out, it's still way too early to tell, and this thing's being unpredictable as shit. It's not even moving when they expect it to. So it could meander across Cuba, swing back into the Gulf, and fucking drift on into, you know, the states between us and Texas. Or just go out in the Gulf and fucking hit Mexico itself. It could swing, you know, just slightly west and still batter the peninsula without hitting us directly. It could stay on the course they were projected, hit slightly east of us. It could fucking veer wildly off into the east, go straight up the middle and not touch us at all, except, you know, with the backwash, with less backwash. I honestly can't even begin to tell you. But uh, either way, this is the closest we've had in a while to potentially having a direct hit. And again, none of their projections are currently showing us as getting a direct hit. Uh, there is the possibility that sometime tomorrow the roommate will be going somewhere, and I'll likely be in there with him with the pets, if that's the case, going a little further north. But uh, we're reasonably certain that we'll be fine with the situation we have. He has his doubts about the house, but I'm like, no, I think the house can handle it, especially if we just get slightly above tropical storm. Because keep in mind... Force 1 hurricane is above tropical storm, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going from, let's say, on a 1 to 10 scale, that's not like, oh, you're going from a 1 to a 7, you know? Sometimes you go from a 1 to a 2 on that scale. And I don't remember exactly what the threshold is, but we're not necessarily going to get, like, rip the house apart weather at this range. And again, we're still not sure where the fucking thing's going. It's still in Cuba right now. I mean, we're not even sure it's going for the Keys just yet. Much less hitting Florida itself. Although, I think parts of Miami are currently, you know, about a foot underwater. So. But then again, Miami's like really south. A lot of it's beach. That's the kind of thing you'd expect. feel a lot better if we had cellars. Now, I know that's stupid because if it floods, being in a cellar is the worst place you want to be, but it'll certainly protect you from the winds. I kind of wish I was still back at the apartment that I was living in two years ago, the second story, because I told people, jokingly, I'm like, we could get 15-foot floods and be just fine. Just step outside. Oh, look, we have a new pool. <laughs> you know, downstairs, downstairs is fucked, but we'd be fine. You know? It's just, hey... Jump out your window, swim down, get the mail. 
Of course, I wouldn't expect that level of flooding. Not as uh, far in as we are. Also, it's kind of weird. Dog's been asleep all day. Now she's up, getting water, playing with the cat. Uh, I'm rambling because that's what I do on these videos when you don't give me a, a topic to stick on. And even when you do, it's kind of like when I do one of these updates, it's usually for something bad. I, I like to ramble because when well, I'm talking about it here, I'm not dealing with it elsewhere. I'm not super stressed about this. I have... Let's call it a background buzz of concern, where it's just kind of, I have a moment, it's like, hey, think about the hurricane for a minute, you know, and then I go back to distracting myself with other shit. Uh, my new laptop chargers arrived, so I'm not worried about juice. This thing is going to be at full charge, pretty much full time. I'm going to slam it into sleep mode if and when we lose power. Likewise, my phone and 3DS are perched quite comfortably on their chargers, getting juice. The 3DS is on, I'm playing it plugged in, so that, again, if and when we lose power, I have something to occupy me. Likewise, going to charge the MP3 player, so that I've got audiobooks to listen to. You know, I'm... Because we, if we lose power, it could be anywhere from a day to a week before we get it back. Keep in mind, Florida actually has really good infrastructure for this kind of shit. We're not looking at, say... Louisiana, or, heaven forbid, New Jersey, which doesn't have any fucking hurricane infrastructure whatsoever. They might now, but they didn't when it hit. So, I mean, we, we have disaster relief to handle getting the power back on and getting supplies and shit distributed. So, uh, uh, ideally, I'd be writing this out at my aunt's house, but there's just too many animals over there already, and I would not even consider evacuating myself and not the girls, you know. Matter of fact, if anything, I'd evacuate them and not me, because I can go other places. But try moving somewhere with four cats and a dog, you know. If uh, things get bad, I might be able to sweet-talk something with my aunt, like, hey, uh, the roommate can drop me off, and I've got cages and shit, just stick us in the bathroom, you know. We'll sleep in the tub together. Hi, Willow. Oh, you're not Willow. You're Maya. Sorry, they're both the same color. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I've kept reasonably busy. I almost missed my window for supplies today. The roommate actually got on me about that, saying, like, I can't believe you haven't done anything. Everything closes at noon. I'm like, well, I didn't know everything closes at noon today. I was going to go at like 2 or 4 and get supplies. Plus, I had the timetable off. I was thinking it was going to hit like Monday and then I still had another day. But I got some supplies. got some chocolate. got some Pringles, like I said. Two big-ass bags of pretzels, because while they'll make you thirsty, they also fill the stomach rather nicely. So, I won't be super energetic, but I'll have food. Um, that really... Aside from just rambling aimlessly, I, I really don't have anything more I can add about the hurricane. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys with news as soon as I have some. Maybe I'll be on tomorrow saying, hey, good news, it's going to miss us entirely. Maybe I'll be on Monday to tell you, hey, I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe I'll be on next Saturday to tell you, well, power's back. Stay tuned. Uh, enjoy my updates. Keep in mind, they're already preloaded and have been likely for six months or more. But enjoy my videos. Thanks for caring enough to watch this one. And I will uh, hopefully get back to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.